What up and welcome to Rama Screen YouTube channel and here's my review of Peacock's new documentary feature, Stormy. Let's rock this. Okay, so Peacock Streaming Service is bringing this documentary to South by Southwest Festival this weekend. They are premiering it over there. But they also have generously granted me the entire screener as well. Which means, yes, I have already watched the whole thing without me having to fly to Austin. It's very convenient and I love it. Now, on to the substance. This docu Stormy is, well, I would not call it shocking because if you have been following the news since 2016 at least, there's not much in this docu that will surprise you per se. In fact, they might as well have titled this Stormy vs. Trump, which would have been more fitting. That said, the adjectives that I would use to describe Stormy is it's intimate, it's provocative, it's illuminating, the story about this porn star who rattles a president and becomes a pariah to one group and a girl power symbol to others, only to end up just as vulnerable as you and me at making all kinds of crucial mistakes. From director and producer Sarah Gibson and executive producer Judd Apatow, the Peacock original documentary Stormy delves into the life and times of Stormy Daniels as she shares her story and account of events that have become part of American history. The film takes the audience behind the curtain as Stormy navigates being a mother, an artist, and an advocate working hard to reinvent herself while still grappling with the bombshell that went off in her life five years earlier. Even though the Stormy vs. Trump scandal takes up a big chunk of this docu, with appearances from the likes of Jimmy Kimmel, I mean, them taking a minute of their time to do this speaks volumes about our partisan society. But getting to know Stormy Daniels the person is also a priority that director Sarah Gibson wants to make sure would come across to audiences. If it isn't obvious already, this whole thing is a way for Stormy Daniels to take back her narrative, to set the record straight, to tell the public, hey, this is what really happened. Because as she said it herself in this docu, she doesn't mind being called a whore. What she minds, however, what really bothers her is when people call her a liar. So, you can view this as a cautionary tale, or you can view this as just Stormy sharing her truth, no more, no less. The amount of behind-the-scenes footage in this docu is insane, and I'm not just talking about Stormy chilling in the green room at Saturday Night Live. There's lots and lots of family videos and personal videos as well that give us a window into what her relationship is like with her then spouse and with her daughter, the way that that whole structure ultimately crumbles is heartbreaking. You can't help but empathize with her. At the same time though, I get why the husband wants to protect their daughter. I get that he is hurt by Stormy's affair and scandal and by her continuing to strip around the states, but... How else is she gonna make money? Porn and stripping and capitalizing on her fame are the only things she knows how in terms of making a living. That goes with the affair as well. You should know who you're marrying into. And in this case, it's somebody who shares her body with other people. And with regards to Stormy, crying on camera has its powerful moments. But sometimes, you don't know where the genuine sorrow ends and the need to score sympathy points begins. Oh my god, the tweets. The tweets from Donald Trump supporters are what strikes me the most. They come up on the screen a lot in this docu, all up in your face. And it doesn't matter if Stormy has a thick skin. Those tweets, ranging from name-calling all the way to death threats, could affect a person on some level. I cannot even begin to imagine what it's like living with a target on my back. I mean, that is the dark side of fame I do not envy at all, and that is the dark side of fame that I do not wish on anybody. 
Look, by the end of this docu, people are gonna draw their own conclusion. Stormy is basically just saying, here's my story, take it or leave it. Whether she comes out of this looking like the hero or the villain is up to the audiences to decide for themselves. What does impress me is the level of details that this docu covers. Every nook and cranny, the sexy and the not-so-sexy side of Stormy's life and career and her brouhaha with Trump, I do notice that that becomes somewhat of an obsession for her. And going after the most powerful man in America has its downsides. At the end of the day, only Stormy Daniels herself can answer if this is all worth it. So yeah, overall I give Stormy the rating of 4 out of 5. This is Stormy Daniels unfiltered. This is a quintessential docu about a woman who ruffles a lot of feathers and she still stubbornly keeps on trucking. Part of me admires that. Hey, please click the join button below to become Rama Screen members. If you are true fans of this channel and you want to see me continue doing what I do, then I need your help. I need your financial support. And you'll also get lots of perks, including my out of the theater reactions and exclusive members only videos and many, many more. So click on the link below to join Rama Screen paid membership today. Let's rock this.